Okay, hi. So um, in order to start with this question, the first thing you need to do is figure out which of your reactants is a limiting reagent. Um, so this basically means whichever reactant is available in the smallest quantity is going to limit how much water you can make. So for this reaction, since we're starting with eight grams of hydrogen, um, we can convert that into how many moles of water we're going to be able to produce given the uh, formula that was listed in your problem. Okay, so that formula I'll write it down here for reference. 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O. Okay, so, um, so in one mole of H2, you're going to have um, about two grams, right? And for every two moles of H2 produced or uh, reacted in this formula, you're going to produce two moles of H2O. So when you calculate all that out, that's going to equal out to producing about four moles of H2O. So let me just erase all of that so we can do that equation again. Um, but now we need to do it with the amount of oxygen that you started with. So you started with 64 grams of oxygen, 64 grams of O2, and we can convert that into, again, how many moles of water we can produce given that amount. So per every one mole of oxygen, you're going to have about 32 grams of oxygen. And for every um, one mole of oxygen consumed here in this reaction, you're going to produce two moles of water. And if you multiply that out, um, you're going to, again, end up with four. So this means that you don't really have a limiting reagent. Both the amount of hydrogen and the amount of oxygen that you have is going to allow you to create the same um, amount of water. So knowing that, we can determine how much water is made. So if we know that we're producing four moles of water with this reaction, then four moles of water, we just, just need to convert that into grams of water. So for every one mole of water, we're going to have 18 grams of water and these units are going to cancel and we're going to be left with grams of water which is the final amount that we wanted and 4 times 18 is going to get you 72 grams of water so that should be your final answer um, i hope that was helpful i'm alex you can hire me as a tutor if this was great <laughs> thank you yeah.